Hello, I'm the curator, and this is today's item. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this. Uh, in the last episode, I was talking about a book about Alton Towers, and it was actually thanks to Alton Towers that we discovered this. Now, one year, I was taken completely by surprise. It was a surprise present to the towers, and on the way, we passed through, uh, on the way there, uh, which... <laughs> was incredibly cleverly disguised, the route that we were taking, I didn't even realise until we got there, basically. Uh, we passed through the tiny little village of Flash. It's in one of the northernmost points of Staffordshire. Uh, if you look at a, a picture of its map on Wikipedia, it is just right on the top little sort of nobble. Uh, I think they talk quite a bit about that it being that sort of corner between, the, between three uh, counties in there quite a bit it has got like a couple of shops a couple of houses and that's pretty much it it's one of the highest villages in britain in fact it is the highest village in britain by there uh by what they say uh and the last time i went there uh because i go i like to go there because it's a lovely place i bought this now this is flashback it is a, a history people and places in the history of flash and the parish Cornford, compiled by Margaret Parker. It is, it's made by the people of the village. Uh, it's a nice, lovely plastic sheet. It cost me £6.50 to get, uh, which, you know, it's not bad. It's a thick thing for something that's been fan-made. A uh, fan. <laughs> it's been community-made, I suppose you could say. And uh, yeah, you can see it there. I mean, it is just like a couple of houses in the middle of nowhere. It's lovely. More pictures, like more bits of the village. It's very, very small. I mean, there are villages in Britain that I've been through, and they've been sort of like small towns. They've been a lot bigger <laughs> than flashes. I mean, when you when you're on there on the way that we go, if you don't look hard enough, you will only see a shop and a pub, and that's all you will see. Uh, there's a couple of pictures of it when it's you know snowy. Uh, I've yet to give this a proper read because I was too busy reading the Alton Towers book. Um, but yeah, it's all uh, there is a school there, school house, uh, the vicarage, uh, bits of farms, Paul's Church Flash, 1969 uh, emergency food supplies because uh, they're in quite you know a part of the world where if it snows they're buggered basically. Uh, there's only like really one road in, one road out, and even though it's a main road, it's still a bit of an issue uh, when it does snow. Thankfully, that all the times I've been there are in the summer, so we haven't had to worry about that. But it is such a small little village, it's such a quaint little place as well. When you go up there, you know, you, know, you go into the restaurant, uh, the, the cafe, and you have some food, and it's you know, it's sort of like no once you go outside you can just see for miles it's just nothing for ages and ages i mean you can see uh i think you can see like a bit of buxton nearby or it might be a leak or another bit uh, another city like that but not for ages and ages away it's like farmlands like uninhabited bits just like hills emptiness for ages and it's fantastic there i mean you know, we drive, we just, even before we go in and have to, you know, eat, look around, we just stand there, just take in the fact that there's nothing for miles. And living in a city as I do, that's sort of like, that's sort of a sorcery to me, basically. That's like something I cannot even believe, that there is, like, places in the world still, after all civilization in the world, that even in, like, Britain, where every square centimetre of land is taken up by something or owned by someone... It's just this like little hamlet that there is nothing. And that's sort of what this signifies to me. It's not just, you know, a lovely community made book about the history of their little hamlet. It's just sort of it sort of represents to me how empty it is there, how how nothing it is there. And it's not in a bad way, it's not like, oh we're boring, nothing. It's just so sort of away and that's what i like about flash that's why it's one of my favorite places on the planet here um but yes the item itself is very well made um 
it's made from quite sturdy paper there's you know color photographs and stuff like that three shires bridge as i said uh three shires uh, i think it's derbyshire cheshire and staffordshire i can't say for sure but i think that's correct you know flash village a little road there's like the church and that and it is just a sort of like a lovely little volume uh there is a flashback to another a couple of other books about flash and I do want to make sure I get them, because yeah, it'd be nice to have the full set. I do want to know about this little village. It says basically nothing about it on Wikipedia. But uh, is it worth getting if you end up a flash at some point? And I really hope anyone listening to this does. Uh, you know, give them, give them your £6.50 that worked on this. It's a really nice little book. And I'm glad I got it, because it's just, it's just lovely. It's a, like, a lovely, it's just like, the way it's made, it's as quaint as the village itself. It's not over flashy, it's not showy. And I like that. And it's, you know, it's properly made. It's well compiled. It's sort of edited, edited together well. It's not just like a hodgepodge. They do actually put work in, you know, placing of all the pictures and that. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all I really need to say. It's more the story behind this item than rather the item itself. But it is still a lovely book. I'm looking forward to reading it all. And uh, yeah, I do hope to get the others as I've said. Thank you ever so much for watching and good day to you all.